Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out the changes to the latest Gravity Box update, so let's just go ahead and dive straight into this. Okay, so their first addition is to do with the auto switch quick settings, and if you don't know what this option does, it basically allows the quick settings to automatically show when the status bar is pulled down while there are no notifications. Now, the new addition is the fact that they've added when there are no clearable notifications. So before, you only had this option when there are no notifications, but if you had a persistent notification like I do, like Lightflow, you can see here, we're still pulling down the notifications even though I don't really have one so if we now choose the no clearable notifications you'll now see if we pull down here it's always going to go to the quick setting so a nice little addition there moving on we have a new option called tile label style and if you click into this you've got three different choices normal all capitals which is of course the default and hidden now what this option is actually doing is changing the text for your quick settings tiles so if we check those out right now they're all in capital if we change that to normal you'll see they're no longer in capital they're just in normal text and if we hide them you'll see that it actually looks kind of cool it looks really clean but obviously you have to know what everything is but it does look kind of cool next up they've given us the new option to specify the quick pull down size and i for one am really happy they've implemented this in gravity box so if you use quick pull down basically it allows you to pull down your quick settings from either the right or the left hand side of the bar and the opposite side of the bar you can pull down your notifications so by default it's set to 15% so what that means is 15% of your status bar is going to be used to pull down your quick settings I've got mine set to the right so you need to go all the way to the right hand side here to pull down your quick settings and 85% of the bar is used to pull down your notifications so even from here which is sort of to the right hand side you can still pull down your notifications and in the past that's annoyed me a little bit because sometimes I've quickly gone to pull down my uh, quick settings and instead I've got my notifications. So this gives you the ability to change that. So I actually have this set to 40%, which is the maximum. So that means 40% of this bar now is used to pull down quick settings. So I can just grab quick settings from here, notifications from here, and this is perfect for how I use my device. They've also given us the option to expand all the notifications and pretty obviously it expands all notifications automatically when it's enabled. And I actually really like this feature. So I've got a few notifications here. If I pull the notification shade down, you'll see they're already expanded. Only obviously ones that can be expanded will be expanded. So Gmail and Google Plus here. It just gives you a little bit more information easier at a glance. So we'll just test this out by taking a screenshot. Normally screenshots come collapsed and you'd have to use your finger to expand it but using this modification right here, it's already expanded and it gives you easier access to the buttons like share, archive and reply. They've also given us a new option called double tap to sleep and what you do is double tap the status bar and your device will go to sleep. It'll turn off the display so you don't have to use your power button. Now obviously you still have to use your power button to wake up the device unless you have a custom kernel that has knock to wake up or swipe to wake or any one of those. But um, yeah, essentially you're gonna save yourself some button pushing and you're also gonna save some wear on your power button. So it's pretty cool. And lastly in phone tweaks we have a new option Option called national data roaming and this allows you to connect to data services when nationally roaming so there you have it guys of course there are a few things I haven't mentioned here you can see the full change log in the exposed installer gravity box is just getting better and better it's getting loads and more awesome features and it's just definitely my favorite exposed module right now so yeah I hope you enjoyed it peace out